So my name is uh, Levent Demir. I am a PhD student. It's my uh, third year. And I'm working uh, with uh, INRIA, so research center, and INCA CITESEC, so a company, security company. So I'm in a test CIFRE uh, with both. Uh, I have worked also with Vincent, Jean-Louis, Mathieu, and Jean-Michel. So my uh, topic is to improve uh, DMCRIP performance for XTS iOS mod uh, with a spe specific uh, mod, uh, extended request. So a quick overview, we will see the context of my thesis. Then we will see uh, the module at mailboard uh, specifications. We will see different approaches for the secure storage. We will see the chosen solution full disk encryption, uh, a brief recall about XTS iOS mode, and then implementation and the new uh, extended request mode. So first, the goal of my thesis, so it is to, to develop a system with a, for a secure storage for the cloud. There is three components. So on the left, we have the client. Uh, in the middle, we will see later a uh, picture, you have the Atmel board or another module, we said module, uh, with two Ethernet interfaces, and on the, uh, on the right we have the cloud. Uh, so uh, there is uh, three key design principles. Uh, bring your own security, because the module is, uh, is it's easy to transport, we can use it everywhere. Uh, it is plug and secure, and it's important, it has to be uh, transparent for the users, for the clients. Uh, so the threat model, uh, generally, when we, we have a server-based encryption, so the, the cloud provider has to uh, guarantee that the third parties are not able uh, to have access to data. However, uh, files are sent in, a, in clear, but the canal could be encrypted, but files are not encrypted. And we are trusting the provider uh, for the, the file encryption or protection. Uh, however, uh, now, in, the, in my thesis, we are not trusting the provider and we are asking what about the pro provider? Maybe he is able to snoop data or he is able to snoop um, user's activity, so there is a confidentiality issue, or uh, he is also able to alter data, so there is an integrity issue. That's why uh, we have chosen one solution, there is maybe others, but uh, client-based encryption, this means that the client so here it's not the clients, but the module who will encrypt data and send encrypted data into the provider. So now we will see this module, this famous module in the middle. This is, for example, an Atmel board. So you are not using the screen, but just to show how it is. It's, uh, how it is. So we have two Ethernet interface, one which is going to the client and one which is going to the, to the cloud. And about, uh, about this board, so it is a Cortex R5 uh, ARM processor. Uh, it has, and uh, the Linux is uh, running on SD card. So just, so if you have understand, there is a global system, but about this pre presentation, we will focus on the encryption on this board, and we will forget the client and the cloud for now. For now, all is done uh, locally inside the SD card. So we want to make uh, secure storage. We have three uh, possibilities and three levels. The first is application level. So we gather uh, without the module on the client uh, an application. For example, there are some Java application uh, with a lot of services like the data synchronization, the duplication and so on. However, uh, this solution is costly and is maybe not secure because we gather all inside the client. So we didn't have chosen this uh, solution. The third so level is file system level, but in this case we can encrypt data, but we will not encrypt the metadata, and the storage, the provider can have uh, this metadata in clear, and even if we need to encrypt it, we need an other tools. So we have chosen the third level, the block device level, because we want to make full disk encryption. Uh, we are using for this uh, well-known uh, tools like Lux and DMCrypt. So the advantage of this solution is that we can use on the shelf building blocks uh, to provide uh, several services uh, for the client. So we will see this uh, full disk encryption. So um, the top application is Lux. Lux allows the user to, to manage the keys. For example, in actual Lux version, we can have 
eight users per container. So eight us the master key is encrypted for uh, eight times for eight users. And about the encrypt, uh, maybe you don't know, but we are using a lot of the encrypt today, uh, at least for Linux computers. When we, we for example, we, um, we install Linux, Ubuntu, or, or Fedora, or so, and so on, they are asking to, to encrypt the partition, and they are using the encrypt. And also about uh, with Android phones, they are using the encrypt module. So this is a kernel module. It uh, supports several encryption algorithms, and it is in uh, Linux since uh, 2.6. So this is an overview of uh, the global uh, architecture. So on the top and on the user space, we have Lux, and we have Crypt Setup uh, to, to manage the container. Uh, in the kernel, we have the, the, the physical device. So it could be a file container. It could be a partition. Uh, we create, so in this physical device, a file system. And to access data from, from, from user space, for example, we have a file. Uh, they encrypt through a device mapper, uh, transfer this data inside a virtual device. Then this data is sent to the Atmel OS driver inside the module, and then it's encrypted or decrypted transparently. So a few words about XTS mod. So the advantage of this mod is that it's suitable for block devices. So it's, it's suitable for full disk encryption. Each sector index is, use, is used by IV. That means that uh, we can uh, decrypt or encrypt a sector in the middle of a disk, for example, without decrypting uh, from the beginning. It, and it's highly parallelizable. So a brief overview. I, I try to be clear. For example, we have a block. So our block is uh, so, uh, 100 28 bits, or says uh, 16 bytes. So the first step, we have uh, three uh, elements. We have the IV. We have a key which is divided into two key, two equally sized key, key one and key two. And we have the plain text. So we take the sector index, the IV. We encrypt it with ECB uh, with the key two. Then we make uh, compute the Galois field multiplication for each block of 16 bytes. Then we, we XOR it with the plain text. We encrypt again with ECB with the key one. And we, we XOR it again with those values, those tweaks. And we obtain the ciphertext. We will see uh, other picture to understand, have a better understanding. So, but there is, as you see, a lot of uh, operations. So XTS is costly. There, uh, and it requires sometimes, it can require a specific crypto engine. So now we will see the implementation of uh, iOS. Just as a recall, we can have uh, three levels for uh, the encryption. The first level is user land. There, is, there are a lot of uh, lib libraries. Inside the kernel, we have to distinguish two parts. Uh, there is the encryption could, can be done by soft with a module like, for example, for there is a software implementation of XTS. And there is also kernel hardware. So as for us, inside at mail module, we have a crypto engine, and we need uh, to encrypt with this uh, specific uh, at mail OS module. Just to, to not be confused, I think it's important to highlight this. When I said a block, it denotes uh, 16 bytes data. When I said sector, it is the same sa sector as in Linux, for example. This is uh, 512 bytes, and one sector is 32 blocks. It's really important for the, uh, for the next. Uh, and the, a page, the basic page, it's four kilobyte data. And the page is eight sectors. So now, uh, inside the Atmel module, we have implemented, uh, I have to say that uh, the, the, the board we have, there isn't XTS mod. As you can see, there is just five common mods. Uh, however, we have implemented a mixed hardware and software implementation. Why? Because as we have seen before, this encryption is ECB, and ECB is present in the Atmel board. So we have, there, is co there are colors, two OCB operations are made by the crypto engine, two XOR and the Galois field multiplication are made uh, by soft. Well, so this is a, uh, to have a better understanding for uh, uh, sector encryption, that was, I said, it's important. To, so to encrypt one sector, 
we, have only, we take only one EV in our implementation. Uh, we encrypt this IV. We generate uh, 32 uh, blocks, which are called tweaks. Then we XOR these 32 blocks with 32 blocks of plain text. We made a big SAB uh, operation. Then we again XOR it and we obtain the cipher text. So we have implemented in this way. However, it is the bandwidth was slow compared to the software implementation. Because if you want to use a crypto engine and we, ha we are equal to software bandwidth, we don't have uh, a lot of interest. That's why uh, how to improve performance, we, we need to, to get closer to the DMCrypt module. So I need to, to, um, to explain you how it works uh, briefly. So uh, file, when you have a file inside uh, Linux, uh, the file is uh, stored in a list of BIO. BIO means block input output. Each BIO is composed of an array of BIOVEC, and each BIOVEC is composed of three elements. So with this rep represent representation, it's easier to understand. We have a list of BIO. Each BIO is composed of an array of BIOVEC, and each BIOVEC uh, has three elements, a pointer to a page. Here you have data the length of the data and the offset inside the page. So this is a view. So a file is stored in a list of view. This is the entry point. I'm oh, sorry. So now the second component is scatter list. We need to understand it because uh, the, the we don't give a view to the, to the Atmel driver. We, we give a scatter list and this is done by DMCrypt. So what is the difference between scatter list and view? This is roughly the same. There is the same three elements, but there is als also a DMA address, address in order to make uh, the encryption faster. And DMA is useful to make transfer, me memory transfer without CPU intervention. So now, this is the, the, the view of the scatter list. As I said, this, there is the same three elements. Uh, we are pointing on the same page, but there is this element which is added. So now from BIO to scatter list. So the entry point is BIO, and the last, uh, the entry point of uh, Atmel driver is scatter list. So we need to understand, and we, we ask uh, ourselves a question, why not encrypting uh, a page instead of a, a sector? Because I don't said it before, but it is hard coded in DMCrypt. DMCrypt uh, encrypt only sectors and not page. So when a BIO, well, now we are seeing just a page, so which is in the BIOVEC structure. So the, the BIOVEC is pointing to a page here, four kilobyte page, and uh, DMCrypt is creating a scatter list, which is pointing to this page, but only a sector of this page. So the first time we are link, link, uh, linking to the first sector, uh, we are creating a request, and Atmel is driver is encrypting this sector. The second time, uh, DMCrypt create another scatter list linked to the second sector and so on and so on. F to encrypt a page, we need to encrypt eight sectors. So we, we have uh, implemented, we have uh, find and uh, we have implemented a new way uh, and we call it extended request. We said instead of encrypting one sector, so this is this representation, we encrypt directly a page. And uh, how we can do this inside Atmel? Uh, we just received the first IV, but because this is due to this, because each EV, uh, IV is uh, consecutive, we, we can deduce the eight IV. We deduce eight encrypted IV, then 32 times tweaks, then plain text, and, and so on. And here, we will see it later, but the main advantage is here because we've done only one very big ECB operation. So, and uh, just what if uh, the file is lower than the page size, page size, excuse me, uh, it is, we encrypt it as the original behavior, sector per sector, so it's not a, a trouble. So now we will see the results with the extended request. So about the test procedure, we have so a container, inside we create file system, we add files, and we try the MD5 operation on each file. Here you have the file size. Uh, why MD5 MD operation? Because it's difficult to, to know the end of the encryption or the decryption. And thanks to MD5, we, we can measure this time uh, accurately. 
And so we have three measures. Uh, or, uh, the software uh, bandwidth is here. The original Atmel driver we have implemented uh, with encryption sector by sector is here, so it's lower. But with Xtrek, we see that we are roughly two times faster. But this uh, improvement has been divided into two improvements. So here, this is, uh, we have measured the time inside the Atmel driver, just when we enter, enter in the driver and we, we, uh, we, out, we go out of the driver. So this is uh, the measure for a 50 megabyte file encryption. We have measured the five operations, so three computation, first XOR, second XOR, DMI, and encryption. I will only focus on this value. Uh, so it takes, without extract, five seconds, for example, to uh, encrypt a 50 megabyte file. How, however, with extract, we see that the encryption time it, it is, uh, is two times uh, uh, faster with extract. So inside the Atmel OS driver, we have uh, an improvement. But however, we have also another improvement because using uh, page uh, uh, bigger request uh, um, improve, uh, give us more improvement about the bio transfers. I call it bio transfers. This is the global input output. And just to show it, I have created a container. And uh, thanks to uh, DM setup, this is not Lux. This is the same. But this is for expert users. You don't create a file system. You, with DD command, you said on the fifth, for example, uh, sector, I put a file of one kilo, kilobyte, for example. And uh, so I have, the, I have the control of the bio size. So he, if I force the bio size to uh, one sector, we see we have this bandwidth. But if I force it to four kilobytes, we see the improvement. So our solution extended request uh, give us two improvements about the encryption time inside the Atmel driver but also about the global input output. So I have finished this, uh, the conclusion. The, the, the encrypt module, as I have said, is very used and any improvement has a big impact. Uh, so this extract allows <coughs> us to have a bandwidth two times faster. However, uh, we cannot ap uh, apply this uh, solution to all XTS, uh, to all iOS mod. For example, uh, it is as you have seen, uh, suitable for XTS because EV is predictable and EV is consecutive. However, if you want to use another method of IV or another uh, iOS mods like CBC, we will not be able to, to done this works. Or for example, this is very suitable also for ECB because there isn't IV uh, at all. That's why it's very interesting to have a big request. So now this is the current work also. Uh, our board was uh, SAMA 5D3, so without full hardware XTS mod. Now this, we have bought this board, and it uh, includes the hardware XTS mod. So the, the game was to compare our implementation with Xtrek with the full hardware XTS mod, and uh, the results are encouraging, we are even faster. Because, uh, because, this, because inside the full hardware, they have implemented in two times. First time, they have to, to encrypt the IV by hand uh, in, inside the Atmel driver. Then all the, the rest of operations are done on the, on in one step. Because of this, we cannot use extended request, and we are even faster of this. So you have seen a new approach uh, to compute uh, XTS mode encryption uh, with uh, ECB mode. Thank you. Thank you.